Unity recently released the new generation, so we can already use Unity 6 for our projects. So today I'll be showing you how you can import FPS Engine to the built-in render pipeline using Unity 6. So the first thing you need to do is to install Unity 6. So here in the Unity Hub, you can go to Installs and there Install Editor and uh, click on Install Unity 6 Preview, which is the current Unity 6 version that there is available. Once you have that, I'll go to Projects and then New Project. I'll select the Unity 6 Editor version. We'll go down to 3D Built-in Render Pipeline. We might need to download it, so download Template. There we go. And then Project Name, I'll just do Built-in FPS Engine, something like that. And then Create Project. Now, this is going to take a bit for Unity to create and open the project. So I'll see you whenever it's done. All right, there we go. So here's our brand new Unity 6 project using the built-in render pipeline. But now we'll need to import FPS Engine. So let's go to Window, My Assets. And under My Assets, we'll need to search FPS Engine. And there we go. And I've already got it downloaded, but in case you haven't downloaded FPS Engine yet, you'll see a download button. So make sure to download or update FPS Engine to the latest version, and then click on Import, then Import. Install upgrade. And here, make sure everything is selected and then click on import. Here, let's click on just, just for these files. And just like that, FPS Engine is already imported into our project. So let's go to Cousins, Demo, Blanks in, for instance, or the Movements, Sorrow for instance, and let's hit play. And as you can see, everything works, but there's a slight issue with the text. And that's because FPS Engine uses the TextMesh Pro. So we'll need to go to the window, um, TextMesh Pro, and then import TMP Essential Resources, and then import. And just like that, our project is now using TextMesh Pro. So let's hit play again. And everything is working as intended.